The frog waits and watches and learns and listens. The frog waits to see how fast the vehicles are going, which direction they're going. And eventually, the frog gets to learn the local culture and gets to understand it better. And after the frog has watched and learned and understood the local culture, they go hop, 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 from one thing to the next, working with the rhythm, not against the rhythm of the local culture, working with, with the rhythm, not against it, of the local culture, and simply and quickly moves across. This trip here to Ghana, before I was in Bangalore, no, I was in Berlin, before that I was in Bangalore in India, before that I was in Nairobi, and before that I was in Accra, all within about five weeks, yeah? In each one of those places, yeah, I produced a hack day and ideation session in five days. Black piece of paper to five days. And I sorted out commercial sponsorship for them as well. Yeah? One of the interesting things about working in Africa is people can say it's the slowest place in the world to work in. I say nonsense. 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 I say with the right offer to the right people, it's the fastest, most dynamic continent to work in in the world. Believe me. I tried working in LA. I used to live in New York. Yeah? I live in London. Believe me, the African marketplace is, has some of the fastest growing economies in the world for a reason. Yeah? Natural entrepreneurial spirit, flexibility, yeah? and can-do attitude. That's going to change the world, right? Okay, let's move on. So, mobile is Africa. And Africa is mobile. Yeah? In a way that we're not in the West. Yeah? It's the most mobile marketplace in the world. And when you leave, the world follows. So I know we've had this example already, but I'm going to talk about it in a slightly different way. Um, this, of course, is Empeza. This is the very hunky first advert. This is a guy who wanted to create, um, have some money go to his mum who lives in the middle of nowhere, and she's all happy because she's got her money on the mobile phone. Right? Now, what happened was, it started in East Africa, as you, as you know, in Safaricom, in Kenya. But now, it's everywhere. It was started over here, the idea was, it was for people on microfinance, for the poorest people who didn't have bank services. But now, you go into Kenya, and you go into the Hilton, or the Holiday Inn, or the swankiest bars, and they accept him better. Yeah? We'll come to that, more about that in a moment, yeah? Here's another one. This is an Indian word, this is a Hindi word. Jagad, Jagad innovation. It means improvised innovation, yeah? I've got to tell you, I, one of my roles is I'm the head of entrepreneurship at a school in London, a postgraduate school. And um, one of the things that we do with the students early on, and these are, you know, good, rich, British and European students. We teach them how to find problems, because there aren't enough problems in the UK to solve. <laughs> Seriously, you have to spend the whole day teaching them how to find problems, yeah? You don't have such a problem here, finding problems, right? <laughs> there are many that are worth solving, and that is an entrepreneurial opportunity, right? Every entrepreneur wants to find a problem worth solving. Yeah? So, shrewd use and Chagall innovation. Chagall means improvised innovation. The quick fix, the smart fix, the fix that uses what's here. Yeah? Already. The way people naturally work, operate, the way culture naturally works. That's what Chagall innovation is. I'll give you an example. Yeah? I asked this question this morning, and I want to see if the rest of you who weren't here this morning have the same answer. If you're running low on airtime, yeah, 
I can only answer this question if you run around this morning, otherwise you're cheating, right? If you're running low on airtime, how do you get a message to someone else to get the most out of the remaining tiny minutes you've got? What do you do? Put your hand up if you've got an answer. Yeah? Anyone else other than Dorothy? Or is she going to get an answer? You don't. Oh. You flash them. You flash them. You flash them. Yes. Has anyone? Has anyone flashed people? Yeah. Yeah. Hands up if you've ever flashed anyone in your mobile. Right. Okay. Lots of people. Right. It's classic cigar thinking. Yeah. Because that's the message, right? You say, listen. Um, uh, I haven't got much, te much time uh, on, my, on my phone, but I'm going to flash you when I reach the restaurant, so you now come there. Or I'll flash you when I'm on the bus, yeah? Or I'll flash you when the bum's out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this one, yeah? I love this. This business is an Indian business called Zip Dialer. It takes flashing and makes a business out of it. Because every flash is a transaction, yeah? It's a message, and a message has value. So here, what they say is, flash this number, this is the company Zipdial, flash this number, and it will be a, a missed call, and we will now send you cricket on your phone via SMS, so you can follow the cricket, yeah? And who sponsors that? Kingfisher beer. That's the business model, right? This one, give Ganesha a missed call, again it's a free gift. You flash this number here, yeah, from your mobile phone, receive an instant SMS stating the gift, you have won. Yeah, so you get a little voucher and your SMS, yeah. Walk into Sangeeta and show your SMS, get your gift, along with your phone patches. Right? Classic Jigai innovation. That's the way we think here, yeah, that's the way you have to think. Yeah? How real culture works. Okay, the next one, start local to go international. Yeah? Oh, I see. I know what it is. It's just telling me what my train's rolling out. Let me 